Hi, I'm James Schillinglawn. I'm here aboard the American Empress, and I'm here with Greg Penzik, who is the cruise director, and we've been watching him every night so far. Amazing talent. We're going to talk to him about what there is to do and see uh, on board this wonderful river ship as we cruise the Columbia River, and you'll find out about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Greg, first of all, I got to tell you, I said to you earlier, you are an amazing talent. The, the shows have been great. I, I don't go to cruise, we were talking about this, I don't always go to cruise shows, but your singing and your band are just fantastic. But we're going to oh, talk about you. that first. I mean, let's talk about how long, how long have you been with American Queen Voyages? Well, I've been with them uh, since before they were American Queen Voyages. I was part of the inaugural crew here on board the American Empress in 2014. Uh, so this is my 10th season. Wow, so that's ten, all, all on American Empress, right? All on the American Empress. This is the one and only boat I've ever worked on. Yeah. So, so your 10th year here at American Empress, and were you always cruise director? Well, I was hired on as part of the singing dancing duo, uh, and through a series of events, uh, I got promoted to co-cruise directors with my wife okay. uh, back in 2014, uh, and then I served through that in two th through 2018. And then um, since that time, we started having kids, and I've been doing more relief work, but I've also been the River Lorian here on board. Oh, really? So you double uh, that as well? That's yeah, I'm uh, filling, in, filling in as that as well, just because, I mean, I've been around here for so long, I know everything. So, yeah. so that's great. Now, so, so what kind of, let's get to that entertainment we were talking about, because I've been to two or three year shows now. It, they're very nice length and everything like that, and you have different, uh, you have a great band, and you're kind of the lead singer, right? Yeah, that's how we do it out here now. Um, so we've got our, our four-piece band, it's a quartet. We've got our, our drums, uh, piano player, we've got our, our bass player, and the saxophone player. He always also plays uh, three instruments. He plays clarinet and flute as well. Uh, and I'm the lead singer, and we uh, do a different set every night. So we do 50s shows, we do 60s, we do 70s. We've got Broadway up the wazoo. We're doing a country show tonight. I hope you be at, so it'll be uh, a lot yeah, fun. No, I, I, I've wanted to stay. I, I do. I, I have work every night, but I sit in the back and I do my work and I, I, I listen to you sing and 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 you do a mean Elvis. I got to tell you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, thank, uh, thank you very, thank you very much. <laughs> but uh, anymore, no, well, you got to have a wig now. I guess that's yeah. it like that. But it's it's really an amazing show and it really is nice entertainment before or after dinner. Uh, but you also do other things on board. In fact, we just I just interrupted you. You were in the middle of a heavy bingo game here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was exciting. Uh, we we had everybody split the pots, but yeah, we do bingo on board. We do trivia games. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, little craft things that we do on board. Um, we're making riverboat greeting cards later in the week. Uh, we've got our, our River Lorian program on board that he takes care of you all day long, telling you about the scenery and the what you're seeing out here, uh, Lewis and Clark and the history of the region. The Which Giada. is a ma major reason to come here. To, uh, in fact, I would say read a good you know history of Lewis and Clark before you get here because it is a wonderful, it's, it's a great piece of history that you'll learn more about here. Or if you just don't have the time, we do have the books on board as well. That's true, yeah. Well, then you know, then you, but you're doing all these other things then, like going to your entertainment. So exactly, it's like this. Yeah. So, um, so there's a lot to see and do on this. Uh, this is like a seven-day, eight-day, almost eight-day cruise, I think. Uh, and now, what? Um, wh how do you choose the kind of music that you decide? You know, that you're doing country. You did a '50s. You did a '60s. Well, we look at the average age of our guests, and what we do is, is we know what our average age is, and we try to go about 10 years, we look at when, a, when they graduate high school, and we okay. try to go about 10 years before that and about 10 years after it. Um, and then we try to do a wide variety of styles as well. So we do pop, we do country, we do Broadway, uh, we do rock and roll, so we yeah. get a little, little something for everybody. And what we're really trying to do is find all of the songs and artists that sort of transcend genre. You know, the ones that even if you're not a fan of that type of music, you're still going to know and love this song. Yeah, well, you haven't done Springsteen for me yet. So well, not yet. Well, we're, you know, we're getting into the 80s now. So. I know. Well, 70s, 70s, 70s. I right. beg to differ. 75 was when Springsteen broke out. So we, I want to see, see you do Springsteen. So we'll see what happens there because that's, you, a, James, that, that, that's great. I love the Elvis. I love the Elvis and all the other ones. Now, uh, what should, uh, is special about American Empress Cruise on the Columbia River? Does the entertainment kind of also reflect the region? Um, well, the entertainment, I think... Um, 
I don't know if it reflects the region so much as just our sort of American sensibilities, you right. know? I mean, you can take a lot of different river cruises in a lot of different places, and, uh, you know, they'll take you to the Louvre or cathedrals in Europe or something, but what could be more American than, than uh, world-class entertainment? So that's what we try to provide you here. No, that's absolutely, and it is definitely a good diversion every night, and I do make it a point to come and see it. And I, as I said, I don't do that often, but I, it's fun to listen to. Now, what would you tell my viewers or travel advisors, travel agents out there in the market, about how to best experience this ship with all of your entertainment? How to best experience it? Well, you know, I would tell you don't miss anything. Um, but uh, I can tell you we do two different shows in the show lounge each and every night because we have two dinner seating, so everybody has an opportunity to see it. Uh, we've got a variety of uh, uh, lounge entertainers that come on board. We, uh, our current lounge entertainer, he's a piano bar guy, but um, we also have a, a wonderful sort of a James Taylor look and sound alike who comes on. Oh, it's a totally go. different atmosphere. Okay. Um, and, of course, we're doing things for you all during the day as well. Yeah. Um, and make sure you don't miss out on the River Lorien because uh, that's half the reason to come out here. Yeah, and he was talking earlier, and I went to one of the lectures. We're going to actually talk to, to him, uh, Lawrence, uh, a little later. But it is an amazing experience, and then, of course, you have great excursions going out uh, almost every day. Today is a sea day, river day, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and as you can see behind us, the uh, the paddle wheel is yeah. moving. We and we were thinking uh, about doing parasailing behind the paddle wheel, but it tends to go <laughs> foom, foom, and gets all <laughs> trapped in there. So. I was I I. I signed up for that what happened to that uh, we, we had to cancel that excursion yeah well it, it, it's a great it's a it's a great great ship and I've, I've been on your your sister ships on American Queen and the Mississippi but this is a real special cruise yes, you've been on the other ones a little bit of trivia for you even though the American Queen is almost twice our size we have the bigger paddle wheel aha uh -huh. okay this, I didn't know there was a paddle wheel envy here <laughs> well not on our part not on our part there we go, uh, Greg. It's been great to meet you. I'll be here. I'll be there tonight. So who's who's you, who's uh, who's the country and western songs tonight? Oh, that's me. I'm doing the country western singer. But we have our first uh, guest entertainer coming on tomorrow. My wife is going to be singing a Broadway uh, review show for you tomorrow, and country and western tonight. I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Well, again, Greg, great to cruise with you here. It's been an amazing cruise so far, and we still got a long way to go. James has been my pleasure. I'm James Schellinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>